What are the blessings and dangers of artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence can very beneficial to our society, but a few specialists specific difficulty about the merge of people with AIs. What occurs when biotechnology and artificial intelligence merge, allowing us to relay out our species? One historian warns that humans are in risk of being changed by way of God like Homo Deus. Yuval Noah Harari is professor of history at University of Jerusalem and creator of the bestseller Homo Deus, A Short Records of Tomorrow. Professor Harari thinks Homo sapiens, as we have recognized it for thousands of years, will give up to exist within a century or two. That is because we are the usage of high tech to upgrade ourselves into something exceptional, something which is a ways more exclusive from us than we're different from Neanderthals. Breakthroughs in biotechnology, together with gene editing techniques offers possibility alternate our genes, our bodies, and perhaps our brains. Such experiments can cause surprising and even unwanted modifications in our society. At the identical time, scientists are developing mind-PC interfaces a good way to sooner or later will blur the road among man and gadgets. Our era dependence is increasing, even with regards to simple duties. As an instance, we use smartphones each day to make selections. Our ancestors used stone equipment to form their society heaps of years ago. Cutting-edge people are more focused on making modifications to their bodies. We're coming into a brand new and extremely unsure generation, wherein instead of the use of equipment, the gear is probably the usage of us. Human beings are delegating extra duty to AI and they are already merging with their smartphones and their Facebook accounts, Professor Harari stated. Those are no longer dumb tools like a hammer or a knife they're smart entities that continuously take a look at us adapt to our specific personality, and actively shape our worldview and our innermost goals. Inside the future Harari and Visions, we'll gradually merge with machines way to biometric sensors and mind-computer interfaces. Nowadays we have natural our bodies, for this reason at some one time, we can be best in one place but a future cyborg might also have an organic brain linked via a mind-PC interface to several hands, legs, and other equipment that could be scattered all over the global your brain will be in New York, at the same time as your palms might be preventing insurgents in Afghanistan or acting heart surgical operation in Egypt so where are you? Should Homo Deus be treated as human? The creature will be a new species of human, but he or she will not resemble us. Professor Harari believes these changes will come gradually as our relationship with the machines becomes slowly but inexorably more intimate. Our species is likely to upgrade itself step by step, merging with robots and computers in the process, he wrote in his latest book, until our descendants will look back and realize they are no longer the kind of animal that wrote the Bible, built the Great Wall of China, and laughed at Charlie Chaplin's antics. Whether this development is good or bad is a matter of opinion, but everything indicates Professor Harari gives a realistic view of the future.